Hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to install the PAC custom ROM for the Galaxy S3. Um, this ROM consists of the great futures of CyanogenWall 10.1, Paranoid Android 3, and AOKP, henceforth the name PAC. Um, first of all, you should have got all your um, things you need to download for this, and those are Google Apps, ROM Manager as you can see, you should, you should have been rooted your phone, also you would need Google Apps and uh, ROM, which is the PAC ROM, I'll have links down below. First of all, let's click on ROM Manager here, which will bring us this, and then we click OK, and guys, um, let's go install ROM from SD card and go down to downloads here and if you want to um, back up all your apps um, do that from titanium backup that's a great service for backing up all your applications so do that it, it's a paid download but it's it's worth the um, money so buy that um, then we click on the ROM which is in the root folder of your phone we go backup existing ROM wipe data and cache and as you can see here, it's i9300 PAC 4.2.2. So this is all the latest um, jelly, bean go jelly Bean goodness. So let's go into reboot and install. Press OK. So Clockwork Mod Recovery should be installed as well. So let's just click OK. And now let's wait for this to come up. And here we see the Android logo and we're in recovery so I'll be back to you when this is finished guys as we see here now guys um you can see the Pac-Man logo with three of those ghost things so let's let it load a bit so we'll just wait for the Samsung logo the first boot up should be pretty slow as it's booting up for the first time so when this boots up, I shall be back. Back. Um, as you can see, it's pretty okay. Um, we're on stock firmware, so let's go down a bit of wireless settings. Let's just log in. I'll just log. In. Should be connected now. So yep, I'm connected. Um. We're not done yet, guys. We still need to install Google Apps, so let's go back into recovery. Let's go reboot, recovery, and let's wait for it to reboot into recovery mode. So you should have had the download and Google Apps, so I'll have the links down below. And as you can see, there is the recovery. Let's go and install Zip from SD card, choose Zip, and download and as you can see here there is Google Apps let's install it and it's installing and let's go back to our reboot system now so I will guide you through the setup of how to get it back and with your Google account and everything. So what basically Google Apps does is installs Play Store, Gmail, YouTube, all the Google applications. So as you can see here, these are all the Google applications. It's installing onto your phone. And now it's starting apps. It's finishing its boot and as we can see here that's the 4.2.2 lock screen uh, we have lock screen widgets here and as paranoid android we get the pi controls so that's neat and okay so let's install let's go start um, I have a google account so yep let's just log into this so I have logged in so signing in it says it might take a few minutes so well it's done so um, if you want to set up your Google wallet and 
Um, to buy stuff, just do it from here, but I don't have one, so... Okay, um, from the apps you had on your other account, um, just go restore from Google, I, my Google account to this phone, so before the apps you had on your other ROM, like TouchWiz, and those applications will be restored, so I'm not going to do that because I've backed from Titanium Backup, but just keep the, keep the phone backed up with my Google account, so... Click that, and as you can see, this will come up. Just keep that ticked. Now we're waiting, and as you can see, the phone is set up and ready to use. Let's go finish. And now we are here. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I shall have a full-fledged review on this in the coming days. So thank you for watching. Goodbye, and I'll see you later.